Mathematics, Ordinary Level, Paper 2, 2022, Part 2. Let's look at question number 5. ABCD is a rectangle. M is the midpoint of AB. MD equals MC. Okay, so MD equals MC. So that 2 is equal, that 2 is also equal. BC is 5. Okay, so if it's a rectangle, if this is 5, then this will also be 5. And DC is 8, so that will be 8. But if it's only half, it will be 4 and it will be 4. Okay, given the special name for triangle MDC. So MDC, two sides are equal. You will find it in the textbook in part 1. On page 365, you will find that name. And please check that spelling. Isosceles triangle. Triangle. Okay, when two sides are equal, the legs are equal. Okay, next one. The perimeter of triangle MDC. So M. D, C, perimeter, the distance around. But the problem is I'm looking for M, C. It's not a problem because I already know that that is a 90 degree triangle and I have two sides, so I must just find this side. But how do I find it? I find it with Pythagoras theorem. And where will I find Pythagoras theorem in the textbook? It's part two on page 438. So basically, I'm going to find MC. So MC squared, that's Pythagoras' theorem, is the two short sides squared. So that's going to be 16 plus 25, which is going to be 41. And then I'm going to take the square root of 41. And now very, very, it's, it's almost better like, like you leave it in a square root and for like later on press it on your calculator. That's actually the easiest way to do it. But I know you're so used to going to the decimal. But if you go to the decimal, then you have to write the full calculator display. 3, 1, 2, 4, 2, 3, 7. Very, very important. Otherwise, it will influence your final answer. Okay, now I have MC. Now, I, if this is, then this is the same MD, and I have 8. So, on page 500, you will find to find the perimeter of a triangle. So, the perimeter will be 2 times this. Now, this is what it was nice. If it was just square root 41, you could have just do that. You follow without writing out the long. But, as I said... If you write out, you can do it like this. Then you don't write everything out, but leave that on your calculator, that blue part. Okay, because you already pressed it, it's on your calculator, square root 41, so that long number. And then I'm just going to add the 8. And now on my calculator, I just say multiply 2 because that, that um, MC is already on it. Okay, and then I plus 8. And then it's very good to first write down your full calculator display. And in this case, it's 20.80624847. And if I approximate to three significant figures, then it's just that comma, then it's going to be 20.8. Okay, centimeters. And that's how you do it. Really not difficult. Okay. Now, in this case, they say the area, and I'm going to highlight it, of triangle MBCD. So M, okay, I want to <laughs> have a color, green. MB, this one, seems to me I didn't get the ruler as I wanted. Okay, it's this. Now, can you see that it's forming a trapezium? So, according to me, the easiest way is to do it with a trapezium, but I'll show you another way. The same, for example, you cannot recall the formula. But where will I find that formula? I will find that formula in my textbook 
you can go and check on page 503. You will see the formula for the area of a trapezium. So let's just write it. So the area of a trapezium equals half sum of parallel sides multiply height. Okay, so it's a half. Now, what is the parallel sides? Let's just go back. The parallel sides will be this and this. So it's four and eight. Okay, so let's just go back and say four plus eight. And what will be the height? And if I go a little bit up again, the height will be five. So multiply, oh, let's just go back, multiply five. And if I do that, I will get on the dot without a comma, 30 centimeter square. But I want to show you another method. Please don't do both. As I said, this one I'm just showing you. Maybe you forgot the formula. And then there's another way to do this. Because if you look here, then you can just, and I'm going to use again my ruler. And I want to just, you can take the rectangle. Because to, to find the area of a rectangle is easy. It's length times breadth. And then you can just subtract the triangle. Okay. And then you will be left with the green. So you could have, you could have say area. Okay. Let's just say area of M, B, C, D is equal to rectangle minus triangle. And that would have been length times breadth minus a triangle is half base times height. So if you go back, I'll just show you on there. So it's 5 times 8 and the triangle is 5 times 4. Base times height. Okay, so let's just put it. So it would have been 5 times 8 minus a half base. Uh, 4 times the height and that was also 5. And that would have gave you 40 minus 10 and that would also bring you to the 30. Okay, that was the other option. So I want you first to take you to the exam report. According to me, this was a very, very nice question. Okay, let's see in the report. What did they tell you? That's the previous one. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to make it bigger that you see it better. There, there's the question. They say, well answers. Although the spelling of the word isosceles was challenge for was a challenge for many candidates. Now remember what they said. Learn the words. Write it a few times out and make sure you can do that spelling. Okay. Many candidates did not realize that they had to find the length MC or MD by using Pythagoras theorem, as we did. Many of them that found the length of MC or MD ended up spoiling their final answer by premature rounding of their answer to less than three significant figures. Okay, so, so remember, if you round it off to five or, or so, just one more, then your final will be correct. But I think for you, the best will be to write just everything out. And then can it just should be so that in between answers. Don't approximate it. Rather work with the square root 41. So candidates should be encouraged to use their full calculator display in working towards the final answer. Okay, that's what I did in the question, if, even if you do it with a decimal. And then the last part, it's not well answered. It was good to see that some candidates were very thoughtful in calculating the area of a quadrilateral. They learned the formula by using different correct methods, okay? The easiest way was to recognize the quadrilateral in, in the question was a trapezium and hence use the area formula. But otherwise, I also showed you the other one. And then I, we can just maybe quickly check there. I think I, okay, let's just check to see if this is all correct. Isosceles and there, there is your answer. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's do at least another question. So, if I go back um, to the question paper, okay, and this is nice, 
and this is not so difficult. I, I, I posted a video on exam preparation examples, and I think that is far more difficult than this question, which you see here. Okay, but let's start with it. You will find this um, on, okay, so in the textbook, but um, if, if we come to this one, it's there from page 73. But if you want to look, it's chapter 2 in the textbook. And if you want to just go through the whole basics, then that it starts on 64. So you can actually start there on page 64. Okay. Now, this is the universal set, and it's natural numbers. And because there's not an equal sign, then it's only up to 9. But one problem was people don't know what is natural. And that stands on page 4 you will see what is natural numbers in my textbooks. It's numbers that start with one. So it's, and then going on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that was the natural numbers. And then this was in set A, and then this was in set B. And now they say list all the elements of the universal. So even if they don't ask it, always first list it. So start with, and this is now set notation. So it's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and only up to nine. Remember, for that you got one mark. You cannot leave out one. Okay. Now complete the Venn diagram to represent all the sets. Now, first, before you start, you have to compare A and B and see what is in both. So if I look, I see three is in both. Okay. I see four is in both. And I see 6 is in both. So it's going to be 3, 4, and 6. Okay, so if I look at A now, I must write the ones that I did not already write. So it's going to be 1, 2, and 7. 1, 2, and 7. And now the same. What? Which one? It's only going to be 8. And now it's only like I can even scratch. So... I don't want to scratch there, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so if I look, I say 1, I scratch 1, 2, I scratch 2, 7, I scratch 7, 3, I scratch 3, 4, I scratch, there I'm at 6, I scratch, 8, I scratch. So I'm left with 2, 5, and 9, and that I just write on the end outside anywhere you can write it there there does not matter where as long as it's on the outside outside okay and now especially this questions was for me very very easy because they say shape the venn diagram to represent the given sets they, they basically just want to see if you know what's a union everything together and you will also find th this on page 73 in the textbook so basically just set A and B. And, and as I said, um, you, you don't have to shade. You can just use a ruler. It means you don't have to color in. But just make sure that with the ruler, and I can actually make it a little bit longer there, that you just show it's the whole inside of A as well as of B. Okay, so let's do this last one. A's complement. So you will find that on page... 71. What does complement mean? It means everything not in A, on everything else, but not in A. So it means if you're going to, to you're going to focus and you're going to everywhere around A, but you're not going to color in A. But everything around. Everything around. It doesn't matter how, as long as you show that everything except what is in A, then you will be 100% correct. Okay, and now let's just go to the exam report and see what they tell us there. Okay, so let's see. So they say this question was moderately well answered. 
The worry, however, was some candidates seem not to know what a natural number is, so learn all your different numbers, and hence they ended up listing zero, which is not a nat natural number, as a natural number. In addition, many seems not to have understand that 10 was not in the universal set, as it was defined for numbers strictly less than 10, so don't make unnecessary mistakes. Okay, and then, well answers, well, because uh, as I said, B and C was very, very, very simple. Um, but also look at that exam preparation questions, and there you will just see, and just to make sure that you will have a, a more difficult ones also correct. And I'm just ending this video, and I'm just going to show you quickly here, here you will find where you can find hard copies of the books. Um, and then also, um, by this time, there also, let me just show you, that all the books are on the NEET catalog, okay? They evaluate the books, and maybe I can just highlight, you will see my books is more expensive, but it's also in volume twice as big or even bigger. Because I believe, for some of you, it's the only resource so to put as many as possible examples in the book, okay? So there is there, and then also, which I want to highlight, is that um, schools can order directly. If they do bulk order, they can do it directly from us, and um, this is our email address, and we also give discounts to, to schools.